When splinting a lower leg, please refer to your local protocols. First thing you want to do is assess the lower leg and see where the fracture is. If it's a closed fracture, then you don't have to worry about putting any 4x4 or gauze on it. And you should use a soft splint. This is a rigid splint with a soft side. And this is preferred. You want to choose the appropriate length. When splinting, you want to make sure that you're splinting the joint below the fracture and the joint above the fracture. Preferred method is to have two splints, one on each side. Before applying the splint, you want to make sure that the person has pulse, motor, and sensory to their feet. So check for a pulse. Can you feel me touching you? I can. And can you move your toes? Good. Apply the soft part of the splint to the inner leg and the outer leg. You can use tape. In this case, I'm going to use cravats. And you're just going to wrap above the joint. And when tying your knot, make sure that you tie the knot on the rigid side of the splint. You'll also want to place a cravat above the area of the break. It's easiest if you wrap this part twice. And this will actually hold your original overhand knot. And I'm actually putting a square knot into these. And also splint, place a cravat below the break. Once again, I'm going to do an overhand knot twice. And then do it the other way for a square knot. Once you're done splinting, it's very important to make sure that you check for pulse motor and sensory again. So feel for a pulse. Can you feel me touching you? I can. And can you move your toes? At this point, you can place somebody onto a longboard and then place them on the stretcher.